group that was pretending to be Redbone going around touring because no one had seen them in like 20 fucking years or 15 years at this point going around touring as the band doing like cover songs of the band and getting money for it <laughs> like literally straight up stealing and ripping off this co this uh, band so they uh they were like no fucking sued the people and started touring again <laughs> What's the problem here? I don't know. What's the problem, Harrison? You tell me. I don't know. Steady handed whiskey tango foxtrot. Steady handed, what the fuck? Don't take care now! Who the fuck is this? Do we, do we actually want to help this person? I'm not sure if I want to help him. You there, yes you, the Honeywells are in dire need of farm hands. Oh, oh shit, we got a farm, oh, Lucas, we were in the ag. That's fine. Come talk to me at the home if the people that were in ag show me anything, you don't always have to have a farm to be in ag. Are you sure? People that I get, I guess I got. Mm. Yeah, not everyone in ag had a farm. Fucking... I'm pretty sure Kaylee was an egg. It's over here. Oh, ha ha ha. Next asshole. Yes. <laughs> Come and get your love. I got that song stuck on my head. Good song, though. Hey man, real motherfucking OGs heard there ain't no mountain high enough during Remember the Titans, not motherfucking Guardians. <laughs> yeah, how many people do you think watching Guardians of the Galaxy were over the age of like 22, Harrison? All of us. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. You'd think, because, like, the whole point of Guardians music and the comics and everything is nostalgia. But, oh, fuck! Hurt me. You know, the thing about Guardians that I love the most is how it surprised me by being as good as it was. Oh, yeah, uh, the first one specifically. Yeah. I know David hated the second Guardians of the Galaxy movie. I didn't hate it, but yeah, I felt like the first one way the fuck more. The first one is way better. I like the intro to the second one a lot. It's just following Baby Groot around as everything's going on in the background. I thought that was pretty good, but... Yeah, it definitely wasn't as good as the first one. And then Taika Waititi has to come and show how... Comedy should be done. This is how you do it, motherfuckers. Essentially. It's like, hey man, this is how you do it, man. Did you watch the uh, trailer for the Suicide Squad, Harrison? I have. It's fucking dope. <laughs> See, fucking King Shark rip a dude in half and eat one other. I was like, god damn. And then he was like, ah. Hey. You know who voices King Show? Rocky. Yeah. Marciano. A lot of people. So, a lot of people. There's this comedian that's apparently cast in the movie. Uh. Pete yeah. Davidson. It's not Pete Davidson. Oh, okay, fuck. I don't know. He's like has like a voice that would apparently fit King Shark, and everyone's like, it's him. He's voicing King Shark, and then. They had to literally have Sylvester Stallone announce on his Twitter that the, he's not. What the fuck is this thing? You gotta parkour up this bitch. Like that. No, no, I'm talking about the enemy. Oh shit. This bitch. He's doing his own thing. They're doing their own thing. Um. Are you gonna be watching much of the final phase of uh, 
Marvel movies, Harrison. Or not final, but. Well, you know, if they space. release some, um, it'll it'll help. Yeah, that's fair. But <laughs> Black I haven't, I haven't, I haven't so. watched any of those uh, Disney Plus shows yet. I haven't either. I didn't watch any of WandaVision. Harrison, I think we went to the. Yeah, but we didn't have to come. Well, I just don't oh, fuck with any of the superheroes, really. I don't like... What the fuck is her name again? Her superhero name. Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch. I don't fuck with her. I don't fuck with Vision. I don't really fuck with Falcon or Winter Soldier, even though I like the movie. I think... Paul Bettany is a fantastic actor. And I think Vision's a good character and everything, but I also... It was a mixture of fan service and to be like, hey, we have a multiverse. For them to do the, uh... WandaVision stuff. But I think Vision kind of ran his course. For being in, uh... Infinity War. I thought that was a it was a depressing exit, but I thought it was a good exit. And we got a shit ripped out. Yeah. Um. And yeah. that gave little Uzi an idea. I didn't watch any of it. I like Anthony Mackie. I think he's fucking hilarious. He's in and Wandavision. Really good actor. No, he's in Falcon and Winter Soldier. Mm. You said you didn't watch either, or weren't interested in either of them. So. The dude from fucking so, Kangaroo yeah. Jack. Oh, never mind. You said I'm like I'm just an idiot. I got it confused with Anthony Anderson. You've got enemies, <laughs> and I've got Anthony Mackie. That's who yeah, plays I like Falcon. it. I like Ant Mile. <laughs> he's in a lot of Netflix shows for some reason. He is, and apparently most of them are pretty fucking good. Oh, um, he's probably on that fucking Adam Sandler contract or something. Dude. From to for promotion of the uh, of Falcon and the Winter Soldier, there's a there's an interview thing where Anthony Mackie and Sebastian Stan had to guess that Marvel butt. It was Marvel heroes, and they had to guess if it if it was who the hero was, whose butt it was, if it was the actual actor slash actress. And then they were like, "That's America's a mess." If it was the actor slash actress or their stunt double, is they hadn't a gotten a few. Cor yeah, yeah. they hadn't a gotten a few correct, drone. and then Don't fucking it. gets to uh, gets to Black Widow slash Scarlett Johansson, and Anthony Mackie immediately goes, "Oh, that's that's Scarlett Johansson ass." <laughs> <laughs> Sebastian Stan goes, "What?" Goes, no, no, don't, don't quit. That's Scarlett Johansson's ass. And they zoom out and it's Scarlett Johansson's ass. And Sebastian goes, I'm, I'm not even gonna ask how you knew that so quickly. Not even gonna ask. Cuh. Got the car, by the way. Nice. Is it a cool oh, car? Now bring it on over to the kitchen. It looks like jeans. Or, no, it looks like flannel. Was there like was, was there anything else in there like a clap trap? No. Oh, it is. That's pretty cool. I actually like that. Look at this. What are you doing? What are we looking at? If I what? could just if I could just get in without bouncing on top of the fucking car. <laughs> Look at this Ow. shitty fucking skin, though. Shoot it. Oh, shit. Fancy. That Scarlet, that Scarlet's ass. I mean, I probably would have been able to guess it, too, but that's besides the point. Try that gun. Hmm. What the fuck you make a noise for? Motherfucker. <laughs> Stop it. I'm not gonna say it. With that. It's called plaid. 
that's the skin we just got. We got a skin that's just called Skag, and it's just like this gross brown. Skag? Yeah. Thunderbird! Harry Potter? Dobby! Dobby's free half! I don't remember any of those fucking movies. Uh. I agree. I know Harry Potter had like a slight romance with an Asian chick. I don't remember if that's who he got. No, he got with Ron's sister at the end. Yeah, usually he he that. was with some white chick at the end of the at the end of the movie. I remember then. I was like, was, uh, I, was like well, I wanted to go see that last Rumble one. I was like, man, who the fuck is that? Is this some this random ass chick? No, they Those kiss in the movie. From the festival, I haven't seen it. From our homestead. Now. I, don't I only I only remember that because I was like, damn, how the fuck this nerdy bitch got game? And also, out of simple, all the women Harry Potter got with, Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> out of all the people he had game with, it wasn't fucking Hermione. Somehow Ron got with that. It's like, what the fuck? Hermie one. Hermie. Hermie. Despite it, just honest people working the honest land, building honest superconductors. Oh fuck! We already the way it's meant to went be. to one of the areas we had to go to. Stop it, Ron! <laughs> Stop it, Ron! Stop! Oh God, you very awesome. Is a, is a strange video. It's pretty strange. <laughs> at that, you got the snipe. It's bad for a snipe. Dumbledore! That's probably my like favorite. Ah, uh, my shit crashed, man. Yep, that's the one. We'll heads up King to crashed. Yeah. Uh, we'll the dedicated followers awesome. In. So. Yeah, go now I gotta fucking wait for the low time. You know, uh... Corrosive skag. PlayStation gave for their free games, the uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake and Remnant from the Ashes. Yeah. And fucking Xbox gave us fucking... the llama... llama shooting game. Yeah, and now PlayStation's also doing a thing where you don't have to, uh have PlayStation Plus or anything to get a certain game. It's like Even Xbox, like you, you know, the least, the least you could do is give a shit that people have actually heard of. But you just, Well, like, I would say that, but... They're, they're giving away games to promote indie games, which is cool, but it's also, they're kind of like, hey, here's these mediocre games, but you would have a much better deal if you got Game Pass. Like, it's literally them promoting Game Pass. I, I I don't doubt that for a second. I mean, fucking Game Pass for a year is not much more expensive than, if any bit exp more expensive than regular gold. So it makes sense. Terrible. I would say that. I think Game Pass is a very good deal. I think it's a hundred percent worth it. Dude, should become their spokesperson. Dude. If I was famous enough, like, on YouTube or anything, and Xbox is like, hey, you want to promote this shit? I'd be like, yeah! Pay me to promote something I actually uh, we, we, care we, about. We, we, won't, we, won't, we won't pay you. Oh. You'll, you'll, yeah! You'll, you'll get exposure. I'm currently doing it for free. you get exposure. Their payment would be like, you get a year of Game Pass for free. Uh, oh, Bill shit, Gates you would me 50 uh, bucks. suck your dick like one every two years. I mean, I'd take that too. <laughs> billionaire? How many people can say a billionaire has sucked their dick? Right, get over here, Lucas. Hurry up. So I kind of want Elon Musk to suck my dick. Not because he's attractive or anything, but because I kind of hate him. Elon Man Musk. Yeah. 
They replaced the movie Tusk with Musk. <laughs> Named his child a stupid fucking name. I don't care how rich you are, you know your kid's gonna be bullied when the first letter of their name is X A E. Oh no. phone now I just gotta wait on you <laughs> you like the session last week last week or like a couple this, days ago yeah a couple days ago I did I didn't like uh, I'll be completely honest I like resonate. Leroy got very, very frustrated with him. Yeah, he got fucked up. It's like, ah, oh, I'm gonna take- I wanna take this session seriously. What does Benjamin do? Uh, go to sleep. <laughs> oh, man. Like, it was funny, but also kinda irritating. And I know what- I know David was pissed off. Oh, uh, yeah, without a doubt. I we didn't, like, Rest the story much, did we? We just. What do we do? We just talked, didn't we? We just talked. Well, David had. I mean, a few people had combat. I mean, you technically had combat. Yeah, but, but like, you just up. some, like, filler shit. Yeah. It was fun, it was, but uh, I mean, I'm, not, I'm not saying it was. It was super fun, but it didn't, like, progress the story or anything, did we? No, not really that much. I know was, David wanted to do more as a group because he wanted to uh, have Leroy involved in it, but Leroy got fucked up, so... Who's the uh, guy you guys were chasing again? Who was he? Remember, he's just a member of the group. Something like that, he killed a guard because they're all bad people. <laughs> Meanwhile, I like slipped in mud and got my shoulder jumped on. <laughs> That was fun. I that was blew, fun. Somehow blew David's mind, and he wasn't prepared for. Yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> like that. He's like, "Come on, dude. Just, you just can't." <laughs> <laughs> I was really hoping he at least had something prepared to where that would have gotten me somewhere. Because I was really proud of thinking of that, but fucking nope. There was no way. There was no. There was no way, man. One of the people that talked about, uh... Did I say one of the people that talked about Lil Nas X's was fucking... Joyner Lucas? He didn't like it? No, he was one of the people that was like... Old Town Road is a children uh, is children's anthem, you, and you go and make this without a disclaimer. Like, dude, how are you gonna talk about putting a disclaimer in front of your fucking videos? Be fair, kids do love the fuck out of Old Town Road. That's all they have to say about. Yeah, but it has nothing to do with. Lil Nas X, it's not like he was aiming that song towards kids. He was doing it just to get to country charts, because, I mean, country music fans love talking about adultery and shit like that. All these people that say they wait till marriage, but they love a song about cheating on people. How many people actually do wait till marriage, man? Like, not many anymore. Like I'd be, su I'd be surprised if it was five percent. Yeah. Not gonna lie. Uh, I don't think it's that. <laughs> it's definitely most likely less than that. Found someone on Tinder. I was like, I'm waiting till marriage. So don't even bother. Like you know that like, those people even... that are just religiously celibate, man. You know that there's some horny ass motherfuckers by the end of it. Yeah, they might wait till marriage, but the moment they get married, they're gonna be into some kinky shit. Like the Lord, Lord this and Lord that, man, I'm getting the fucking train ran on me. <laughs> they aren't the ones married to you. I just said I was waiting till I got married, not that it was gonna be with the one I married. 
Look, if it's the will of the Lord, then he'll come down here and smack my dick out of your pussy. <laughs> if not, then he's cool with it. the image of Jesus coming down just smacking <laughs> a dude's dick. <laughs> he just comes down and he's like, there are snow weed. <laughs> oh, you beat the, you killed the boss, dude. I wasn't even paying attention. It's the monkey that did all of it. That's probably true. I just saw art scrolling through Google while I was waiting on you. The uh, fan art of Mads Mikkelsen as Geralt instead of Henry. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, I'm not gonna lie, dude. Mads Mikkelsen, a hundred percent, my opinion, looks more like Geralt than Henry Cavill does. But that being said, Henry Cavill. I think the thing with Henry Cavill is that he's actually British and. Uh, He's a fucking nerd. Like he he knew about. Oh yeah, he he probably get more into it than uh, Magic Nicholson would, but yeah, because he's played the games and read the books. So that that's probably why. But Magic Nicholson definitely looks the part more than he, he was in. Uh, Cavill does. He's in uh, fucking. That's random. Yeah, I know. But who knows if he likes video games or not? No. That he being might have said, been in Death Stranding he, specifically being said, he was the weirdest fucking one. Weirdest fucking yeah. video game ever. Game is fucking odd. Also, I... Uh, I, I watched someone play that game. And, like, you can... It's one of the few games you can kind of understand some parts of it by the end of it when it comes to... A, uh... <laughs> Kojima game, but like, some of the stuff that was in it, I'm like, that's so fucking stupid. Like, one of the things is you meet up with, you finally meet up with the chick named Amelie, and she's like, it's like you're Mario and I'm Princess Beach. I'm like, what the fuck? Princess Beach. Because they met on a beach, ah. and beaches have a very uh, prominent thing. In Death Stranding, I'm like, that is some shitty writing. That is romantic. Probably sounded better with like the Japanese version of Princess Peach, because I don't think it's Princess Peach. Could be completely wrong there, but it's just it's just bad. You think that uh? I think that, that game, game was bad. dubbed in Japanese for the Japanese audience. I mean, probably had to be. I can't. Every Kojima game has been has had some sort of like dub. So if they didn't have it dubbed, I'd be very surprised. Like it's like just weird seeing like Norman Reedus and everybody just speaking just some raw ass <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> That's fair. Or Guillermo del Toro, seeing him speak Japanese. <laughs> like, here is this Hispanic man. Yeah, that he doesn't look Hispanic to me, though, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, he doesn't, at all. I, I always Ready forget for he fight. is until I remember his name is Guillermo del Toro. He looks like just some, like, That's nerdy white dude that'd be a computer teacher or some shit. <laughs> he looks like if Keeley got famous. Kinda. Stop spitting on me while I'm selling shitty guns. Yeah, what the fuck? The oh, fuck, Richard? Maybe throw my own grenades down and they're gonna hurt me. Monkey, get on, get on that shit. Who's next? Oh, he kind of is. He's doing something. Fuck, no, he's doing more than something. Holy shit. Good enough. <laughs> That'll do, Piggy. That'll do. Oh, no, I, I, I mainly want to play Death Stranding just for the all-star cast. That's about it. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. They did get a surprising amount of actors and shit to be in. Somehow got Conan O'Brien. That's... 
kind of weird. He's never gonna play that game, but... You, you know, I, I used to really like his fucking bit where he would play and review video games. But then it got to the point yeah. where, he, where the, he would just mainly promote the game rather than play him and give his own opinion on it. Yeah, because I... I mean, my favorite clip of his is with fucking... Uh... Jamal Nanjiani and they were playing Shadow of War and he goes, you fucked me. <laughs> my favorite, my favorite one was, there's two of them, is whenever he tried to play fucking Advanced Warfare and he kept getting killed while trying to cross the highway. And the other one was whenever they played like a first Tomb Raider game and you comment on how hot Laura Croft is. And there's that scene when they're going down like that river and then she could get paled through the fucking mouth by like a stick or some shit. Yeah. I like Conan a lot. He's one of the few talk show hosts that I think is actually funny. Good make good He's like the only one in my opinion. Make well yeah. Fuck, yeah, yeah, fuck both Jimmy's. Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Fallon aren't funny. If you're, if you're late show host name starts with J, you fucking suck. Yeah. James <laughs> Corden's like, I'm British and fat. That's like his whole shtick, and he can oh, mediocrely sing. Better. I don't even think he's good at singing. He has a good tone and can support, but I don't. I kind of think he's like, man. Motherfucker's getting cast in like fucking every animated movie. Yeah, I think James Corden singing is like small town choirs. You get in because you're mediocre, and then everyone praises you because you don't sound like shit. The creek's been dry nearly a week now. And also, he has a weird you, singing face. He always like looks like he's trying to push out a shit when he hits a high note. That's how uh, Donald Trump always looks like he smelled the fart. Yeah, he did it. Do you smell popcorn? That and combination. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think that the, a member of Wu Tang Clan working for James Corden has ruined some of their street cred. Oh, Method Man, what the fuck are you doing, man? <laughs> Method Man works for James Corden. I'm like, what the? Did you run out of the money that your band made that fucking quickly? I include that voice crack. That's how surprised I am. Like, Cream is still a dope fucking song. Man, if Old Dirty was still around, he'd be so disappointed. Oh, without a doubt. <laughs> That's how I feel about Ice Cube. I guess Method Man tried to go like the Ice Cube route. Like, Ice Cube was literally in one of the most controversial gangsta rap bands of all fucking time. And then he decided to go to, to Are We There Yet? How, those are two massively different things. It all started with Didn't Anaconda. Have to drive it all, Harrison. It did. Which I don't even remember that movie. Damn, the day was a good day. I've uh, I've seen the second one like way more for some reason. I watched the second one a lot as a kid. I don't know. I'm probably seeing it a shit ton. I know I've seen one of the movies I've seen the most is one of the longest movies I've fucking seen, which is Castaway. I've seen Castaway like seven times. Casper. Yeah. One of the first movie, my parents have a video of me and David just mesmerized as children watching Castaway. Damn. We were like, fucking four or something like that, and then I cried when Wilson starts <laughs> floating away. My mom's like, it's so cute! I'm like, you traumatized me. That was his mans right there. It's a reason like, why I like anime titties. Fake <laughs> things are what I get emotionally attra or attached to. Bike? What are you talking about? Bike. Anime Katie is for real. 
Ash Nico talked about uh, how she likes hentai. Oh, Niku? Nico? No, oh, Ash Nico. I think some of her songs are good, and I think the more recent stuff is not. The chick she had featured on her more famous song in the most recent album really has a song that starts out with uh, my small titties and my fat tummy. Oh no. No that's, joke. <laughs> it's not a good combination. <laughs> I think this. Uh, what the fuck is that song called? Most my Princess Nokia. The most unfortunate thing ever is to be a fat woman with small titties. Yeah, if, I mean, I'm a fat dude, and if I got bigger tits <laughs> than you, and you weigh more than me, that's not a good combo. This is like, it's yo, man, all that fat's not going to the right place, man. This shit got a glow up for fuck. Straight sure. to the gut. This is a green thing. Oh my god, yeah. I just landed to Vegas, shot my ship down. Well, I went and hid in a big old pile of turds. Oh, here it is. It's called Tomboy. An uncle, an uncle Tomboy. Stop that. Getting to it, don't worry. <laughs> Fucking first part of that verse with my little titties and my fat belly. What the fuck? That bitch is big Ooh. and very easy to kill. Well, that was a good fight. I see a bunch of purple things, they're probably gonna be shitty. It's all right. I didn't get anything purple. Thanks, that's some shit. Come on, back in the fight. I got you, Pa. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, my time, uh, oh, is this pop, pop? Is this pop, pop? My first time uh, beating this mission, or doing this side quest, uh, I killed the skag as it was jumping towards me, and this dude was stuck in the air and I couldn't revive him. <laughs> That hungry devil ate all my dynamite. It's a feature, so Lucas. Is a feature? Not a good feature, if you ask me. Same thing for oh yeah, we got to search piles of shit, help, by the way. Get to oh no. Them scat piles, you know why? This is what he's trying to do, is blow up this pile of shit damn. This pile of shit right damn. Oh look. Oh shit. Right here. It's just, just a pile of shit. Oh, I'm glad I like slid into that. It's been keeping the crop waters from reaching our humble homestead. Now we got to no, tell me to stick the once this shit water reaches your crops, it'll be well fertilized. Yeah, that's fair. Right there in the Thinking ahead, Harrison. Remember when we went to uh, plant that one tree at the pool, and that one lady pulled up and was like, "That's Moses now, tree." Now sink the plunger and blow that poop damn straight to perdition. No. <laughs> you don't, don't remember, remember? You don't. It was like during English three or something. I remember when we could ice. write what our wishes were? From the fires of destruction and I guess Moses wanted to plant a tree, so we went outside from the school. And Oh, yeah. <laughs> this random woman pulled up. Like, that's Moses' tree. Go and let Ma know I'm intact. Though I reckon the stench of our victory I hate may white people in this town, man. Her way. It was a black woman. Oh, uh, was it? It was. I remember it clear to this day. Dude, I just know that it happened. I didn't see who it was. Like, huh. He appreciates the tree. When people talk about 
sports people. <laughs> sports I'm people. By a skag again, didn't he? Well, I can hardly complain when I've got she just casually talks about her husband getting rocks, eaten by a skag. Homestead's better than ever. Here's something to pay for your dry cleaning, dearie. Oh, and I think Paul. Hey, you might want to change your coat, Flack. You it's fine. I'm worried about the Is monkey, it... though. Where the monkey's fuck... fine. Where the fuck is Tommy at? Tommy? Oh. oh. I got vision for move. I saw good vision. Oh, hi, me. <laughs> a bunch is money. I could give it to you. Uh, some of the quests in this game are very good. That's my favorite one so far. It's good. And who is Bessie? <laughs> I thought we were done with the homestead. Oh, she said Pa's got one more mission. Oh, Pa, you old fuck. Just about everything of both into Bessie. Pa, honey, it's fine. This is the last one. Everybody Gosh, says the up. worst season of The Walking Dead was when they were on the farm. It says that. Oh, you know I didn't hate it. Girl. Watch minds of her logic, I was, best, I was asking who says that. No, I don't know. There's probably people that are not. <laughs> I would, I would was still alive, so yeah. I don't even know which one I would hate the most. I don't know. I don't remember most of them. Chris and I missed the valve. Can you get it for me? I missed it too. You're fine. <laughs> I see it. Can you pee on it? That'll be the quantum brine. I, I watched uh, I watched the fucking loose. Eric Andre movie today. I have never seen it. It just came out like a couple of days ago. Oh, did it? Yeah, that, I guess that. I guess that movie's been done and completed for a minute now. They just didn't release it, man. I swear to God, this shit was announced at least like two years ago or some shit. I've also never seen uh, the Eric Andre show. I've seen a bunch of fucking. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm in the same gifts boat. from it. I've seen like a bunch of stuff on it. Like, yeah, that's that's the big one. Yeah. It like it's all right, just... but I thought they're. Meme of him I wish there would have been like a lot more bits in it, like when they were like pranking people because it's like a jackass bad grandpa movie. The best you one is uh, the best one is he wants to go take a selfie with a gorilla and he gets it's raped by it in front of a bunch of people. Says <laughs> so he gets he gets back out. He's like, I forgot my phone. He goes back in there and gets raped by the gorilla again. It was dumb. Seen uh oh shit, I love COV. Um the second Borat movie? I have not. Have you seen the first Borat movie? I have. Well, you've seen more than me. <laughs> I've never seen like my brother and my dad I'm pretty sure watched the second one. I have never seen either of the war movies. The first one's pretty funny, man. The funniest part to me is like there's a scene where he's just jacking off in public in New York City. No, there's a. I did see one of the scenes from the second Borat movie when his daughter's trying to get like a dress or something. And she goes, I like this. And the woman goes, uh. And he goes, it's, it is, I prefer that one. And she goes, he goes, what is it? You see the daughter. 
It's the bag that the dresses come in. Is what she's wearing. Hey, Donnie, I received your echoes, she goes, but that, I must that's a bag. <laughs> and the southern they accent. Be. He's uh, nice. She's dangerous for both of us right now. I also want to thank you. It's a hell of a war rig, and I'll keep it in my garage forever. His name's Sasha Baron Cohen, Cohen right? Yeah. You stole my heart, Big Donnie. You stole it good and proper. Played a French dude from Talladega Nights. I've just got it. Every time I ride that sweet rig, it'll be like I was riding... The flashing light. What the fuck is Ellie talking about? Uh, like, these people's son or something? She had a thing for her. But not, not Scooter? Be the thing. I think it's I think it's just a dude she had a thing for. It might be the She said every time I was riding that vehicle I thought I, I pictured I was riding you. I become chaos. If only they all said that. Make sure the only visitors we have is the ones we want. As long as the family sticks together, the homestead's safe. Visitor, yeah, come good by for you board. guys. Can we have money now? Yeah, I know. This is awful. Why would anyone want to do this shit? Change your fucking profession. It sucks. <laughs> Digging through skag shit just to kill people that come over. Our humble homestead is both preserved and replaced. This is not how America was built, bitch. You really didn't need to go out of your way for us, dearie. See, there's Who? two screwdrivers and a wrench and just on his hat. Thank you for all the <laughs> help. And you'll nice. always be welcome at the homestead. That's cool. Bessie oh, we was got a, a giant fucking gun. turret, by the way. Bessie? Oh. Bessie? Yeah, it's kind of ass. Yeah, I'm gonna sell it. I had a dick to skag shit for this. Pa, your rifle sucks. Get out of my inventory, fuck. Are you excited to go back to the slobby knobby anytime soon? I kinda hate that thing. <laughs> hey, slobby knobby. The D&D &D session that we're, my, we're doing, that's what my brother named the tavern that we go to. Yeah, that's pretty impressive, man. Whenever I did the whole bit with the uh, two orcs and a halfling, man, I thought he had that shit rid, but it came from his head. Are you just talking about the in general, like, uh, wholesome moments of it? Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Oh! What the fuck? Yeah, that sounds pretty cool to it. Man, that shit spasm. It's cause your monkey's in the fucking way. I don't even know if this is gonna work now. <laughs> okay, we're good. Oh, maybe. Oh no. No entry, no glory. Okay. Well, looks like you're gonna need a super pimp ride in order to get in. Oh, 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 bro. Okay, I heard Big Donnie over at the chop shop won a golden my car and sweepstakes. So, go steal that. Oh man, Big Donnie. Oh fuck, I forgot this I is one of the vehicles I had. But I never did get to trim his wig and oh, well. catch my drift. Sex wise. <laughs> I don't think I do, Ellie. Yeah, we're innocent. We don't know anything about that. <laughs> Six wise. That is so. Well, hold hands to us is quite a big deal. And who's this bitch? Welcome oh, the chick on Tinder friend. that said she was gonna peg me. I told her, I was like, I'm down, but we can't hold hands because that shit's gross. And what kind of haircut you got? It's a fucking dude, man. So fucking. Looks like a Super Saiyan or some shit. 
Now, Aww, she's got I pink got little stars on her headband. Get away with not paying for my delectable delights. Where are so your titties? Got, got him in like Brand a fucking Zarya type breastplate. I'll warm up the oven. Gotta warm him up. <laughs> See, you just gotta I'm smack him. Uh huh. That's how you get women, Harrison. I, I, I see. So how men get women is smacking their tits, and how women get men is by pegging them. Yeah. I don't understand. Like, do guys that get pegged say they're not gay? Yes, as long as it's by a woman. Yeah, but like in all honesty, the woman could just like switch out, and they wouldn't notice. Yeah, the dick just fucking emerges from that crevice. <laughs> yeah. I've been a man this whole time, brother. <laughs> Bro. It is not what I asked for. <laughs> I asked for hundred. Honored for what the hell? This motherfucker's name is Road Dog and looks very similar yeah. to someone. Yeah. He oh, he's even healing himself. Yeah. Holy shit, this motherfucker's strong. Yeah, he's level 41, Harrison. Monkey's good. How the fuck are we defeat him if he keeps healing himself? About the raging road dog. Go. God damn, that's the strongest person yet. Dropped a shotgun I can't use. What the fuck? So many things I never Well, I'm gonna be saving this gun. Holy shit. I got a lame pistol. I did not. I'm getting fucked up. The Calypso Twins! <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck oh, you, motherfucker. Badass lunatic. No, so I got a legendary shotgun. That's what I got. What about, it, uh, what about love? No. It's a legendary shotgun I can't use until I'm level 40, which is my next level. And it does 1,277 damage times 10. Damn. Now, its fire rate isn't as good as the gun I currently have. But. Stuff, but stuff. It's a lot of fucking damage. <laughs> uh oh. Island. Not a dairy farm. Dairy plant. Oh, Highland. Fuck you. <laughs> I'll tell you what, brother. There is no better business than Highland Dairy. I can think of a few. McDonald's. Could you get your dick sucked at McDonald's? Probably. Very yeah. good, you witnessed it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could, did see that happen. At both places, there's a lot of dick sucking. People are horny, Harrison. Never towards us, though. Eh. People that are towards us are people that we do not deserve. <laughs> but do we deserve? Probably. <laughs> Probably. They're like just what our type should be. It's just not <laughs> what our type is. Oh, man. Professionals have standards. 
Also, I find a lot of people that don't believe me when I say I don't really care about sex. Well, like, how do you not care about it? Well, I've never had it, so it's not like I really have the desire yet. Thank you, Spider Ant. Oh. Right, Harrison. Just don't become sex dependent. Oh, now my game crashed. Oh, no. <laughs> Straight up. Money, I guess. But... Yeah, it's one of those Jenners that was, you know, kind of not as attractive, but now they're super attractive. Well, oh, the chick that did a. T Talking about Caitlyn. The song I just showed you, Tomboy. Now, who that is, ho? That girl is a tomboy. That song has 15 million views on YouTube. We'll wait till we break those numbers. And our next three songs go 8.5, 5.6, 4.2. eventually, she had a song that came out seven months ago that has 11 million views. We well, gonna break those numbers, motherfucker. She's very pretty, though. But she's the one that sings this song, or is involved in this song. This is Ash Nico. Oh, Nico. Hell yeah. And your girlfriend playing dress up in my house. I gave your girlfriend cunnilingus on my couch. Kawaii hentai boobies, that excites me. I think she really likes me, that's so lightly can I, ooh, ooh, ooh. It's a legitimate song. 6.7 million views, Harrison. As I said. It's getting hot in here. Wait till we break those numbers, man. We all know the gaming videos get millions of views. You know, I would be down to do music. If we could make good music. <laughs> we haven't tried, man. We could still do it. I feel like for us, we would either... It'd be hard for you to make a serious song. Because you're not serious about anything. What are you talking about? I'm super serious about a lot of things. Oh, yeah? <laughs> um... But like, it's not like any of us can rap. You might be able to pass for it, but me, David, and Peter, nah. Uh, I can imitate. I bet Peter could spit Boy, some bars, man. Trust me. I lived with Peter at Upward Bound. Peter can't spit bars. <laughs> I bet Lane could. Love you, Lane, if you see this. Lane can't speak. <laughs> Fucking David can sing if he hits the right notes ish, but he's very tone deaf. I don't like singing in front of people. Unless I'm not taking it seriously. What song did you sing for your solo that one time? What do you mean solo? And then you do a solo like one of the choir, show choir things. I did a duet one time and then I did a, I sang uh, Every Rose Has Its Thorn. Let's see. I, I didn't go to that. I don't blame you. I wanted to, but I'm pretty sure that place was jam packed to the max, man. It was. Because those, those, cool. those things are always jam packed to the max. I sang Every Rose Has Its Thorn because it's my mom's favorite song. Uh, what was the song that you did the duet for? It was with Becca, and it was, uh, 
16 going on 17 to you are 16 going on 17 oh, hell yeah. baby it's time to think i loved being a nazi <laughs> I, I i hate that i said that on record <laughs> <laughs> You know, if we were actually popular, man, with, like, all fucking mods on that shit, dude, that, that shit would get taken yeah. way out of context. <laughs> like, did you see what the Lyrical Saint lyrical said saint, on stream? The Lyrical Saint on stream said, I love being a Nazi. <laughs> uh, drama alert, drama alert. That not fit. That's the thing, if I ever got famous and then, like, Keemstar reached out to have an interview with me, I would just say no. What happens if you become famous like that, but you just literally don't associate with anybody else on the internet? Man. Would you avoid, like, all drama? I'd try and avoid like, let's, all let's drama. Say, let's say if you were PewDiePie level, but you literally didn't associate with anybody. You didn't do a collab or anything. You just did your own thing with that what PewDiePie kind of does, except when he makes music? I suppose so, but he'll associate every now and then. I know he's friends with YouTubers and stuff. I also am still a pretty cheap person, so it's not like if we fucking, if I got successful on this or any type of fame, I'd still probably live in Oklahoma. Because it's very cheap to live here. <laughs> How many YouTubers do you think have ever really came or passed the Oklahoma or only stayed here for a good minute? I know one YouTuber I watched for a bit that actually was from Oklahoma. Mr. Blue but, Fox. Uh, yeah. But actually, like, people just passing through here, fucking, like, two. You're like, what the fuck is this place? This exists? Oklahoma? It might have been, it might have been people like... Like if anything, they were going down like Route 66. You stop by this little girl called the Rock Cafe, man. What the fuck is this? Why's that blue car everywhere? The fuck? Listen, I just got a legendary again. Where are you at? I'm at the objective. Oh, I was getting money. Here, I'll get this money for you. That was a rackle snake? A rackle snake? Yeah. Like, I mean, I'd probably do collabs, because that's how you get off with their heads. I got a reference to the queen. A queen. But fuck, man, I don't even. I barely talk to people in the town I live in. <laughs> I wouldn't mind being on a famous person's podcast or something. Like, I do think it'd be awesome to do them like uh, hot ones or something. Or hot, hot ones. Shit, if you got to the level of famous to be on hot ones, hell yeah, I'd do that. Actually, I wouldn't be able to do that, never mind. Not too many YouTubers have been on there, right? The only one's like. Yeah, there had it, and I know the fucking what's that Marquez Brown movie and HJ2 on it? Built the Franco was. Yeah, Philly D. Not recently though, they've actually got some pretty big stars. Yeah. Queen Antoinette. <laughs> oh no. Oh, uh, that's awesome. I wish we could do our own podcast, so I don't know what we talk about. It'd be neat. Feel so right. Would, would you post it on Facebook? I am the best. No. We don't have to do it on. We don't have to do it in person, can we? We could just do it on like Discord or something. We could do it on Discord, and one of us would have to get like recording software for our computer or laptop or whatever. Which I guess could be me, because I do have a pretty decent laptop. <laughs> or Peter. It's a dope-ass computer. Yeah. 
this isn't that this pistol it is I love these but they don't do like any damage at all just depends this is what oh I remember this mission Press and grab the egg, it's rolling. Grab the egg. I didn't cheese it in the... Cheese the day, motherfucker. Prize, motherfucker. Silent is not dying, this is the small town game, gamer podcast. What was the podcast? <laughs> <coughs> Podcast name David came up with. Fuck, I don't know. Had something to do with acquaintances. Acquaint a cast? The acquaint a cast. I don't remember. Maybe that was it. Probably. Okay, so we're missing two eggs and I don't know where they're at. Yeah, it sucks. Motherfucker. Motherfuckers. Oh, there's one. <laughs> found one. That's of oh, I found two. I they were just on top like of each other. Hell yeah. What was the philosophy the first time you got your butt cut? Oh, it wasn't. It was by a man that was in <laughs> school, so. How did that make you feel? Good? Awful. <laughs> I was shaking for like the past five days. I couldn't even sit down ever. Well, that was just because after I got home, I stuck my fist in my butthole. <laughs> That's how I wipe. Make sure you scoop it out. <laughs> oh, it made myself gross out. It might be disgusting, but it needs a big effect. <laughs> hey, you ever wanted to be sore but never have to take a shit again? Try fisting. Oh no. That not work. That not how it works. Hey, probably. Hey, Beatrice. Use an enema. Actually, hold on. Is an enema what and I think it is? I mean, sticks of dynamite. I don't want to say an enema. I'm gonna be afraid to Google this if it is what I actually think it is. Harrison, collect the candles, motherfucker. God damn it, it's not my birthday, motherfucker. It's actually sticks of dynamite. What the hell? Where the hell did Ranch. she go? Her house. Oh my god! Oh. Look at this ugly old beauty. Now pick up them cake layers and we'll get this vengeful show on the road! Pick up the layers, Harrison. I'm gonna look up what an enema is. And does the cleaver come with it? Now, it does. Take it on over to the flaming fist compound. I won't tell you how they got their name, but let's just say a swab of lard. An enema involves way. inserting liquid or gas into the rectum, which is the lower part of the large intestine. The aim is to empty the bowels, allow for an examination, or administer medication. <laughs> also used in porn. I've seen that. It's on the fucking jackass. So an enema was what I thought it was. Thankfully I got the medical definition and not it just showing a picture. Terrible. Yes, that would have been terrible, you're not wrong. Today when he goes to the doctors and then he has to fucking touch your asshole with me that I fear. My dad was talking about that because 
Uh, you're technically supposed to get your first um, prostate exam at 45. Oh god. That's what my dad turned this year. Party, chop bait. What do you want? Got a cake for the fist king. <laughs> he just said, you know, oh, I think yeah. I'm just gonna. gonna it, he's like, if this, I have something wrong with my prostate, I think I'll just die. <laughs> <laughs> like, can I, can I do it myself? Are you telling me? Oh, I feel something, like, tugging me in. What does that mean? Uh... You're, you're, you're done. That, that's it. Look up an anima and the first picture is just a guy putting on gloves. That was a good what birthday. Nobody crosses old Beatrice. Ah, oh, thank you kindly, dear. Come on back for a well-earned reward. How oh, great the things it dropped I already have. Like literally all three of these skins. And the trinket. A shitty, a two a skins shitty artifact and a, trinket. and a shitty pistol. Happy blood feast to you, Harrison. No. They're all smooth, yeah. <clears throat> you know, I never realized what the werewolves were. So I watched a woman named Amanda the Jedi, and she does like movie reviews and stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, she critiqued the uh, Twilight series. You know, the it's movies. Funny. Words already gotten around about um, infamous I had never watched, still have never watched a single Twilight movie. There, so I didn't know Jacob oh, and the werewolves were fucking Native Americans. <laughs> event, but I think you've earned a whack or two at it. And then I read letter. into it, and like the tribe that they're based <gasps> off of was like, hey, you like <gasps> did not represent us at all. Correctly. <laughs> The chick took like very, the woman that wrote Twilight took <laughs> massive creative liberties with like their history and everything, rewriting it essentially. And they were like, this is, this is not what we gave you permission to do. Like, that's fucked up. This seems fucked up to me. Like, nah, man. That, also, it's just ending out there, boy. Is Taylor Lautner even Native American? I have no clue what the fuck Taylor Lautner is. <laughs> I feel like he could be part, like, and that part kinda shines. I think if he's part Native, it's like me saying I'm part Native. Like, skin tone wise, he's Native, but like, his features aren't. No. <laughs> you tell me the kid plays Shark Boy's a Native? Like natives, man, they got some motherfucking cheekbones, to tell you what. <laughs> what all do we have left challenge things wise? Got a dead claptrap, a hunt. We wouldn't have to be going near a fucking store anytime soon, would we? Uh, actually, yeah, we are going near a store. Alright, alrighty then. Here, wrecked out of Spencer. Here's a store right up here. Hey, you gonna fuck the chicken? What the hell was that? There's no. a gold? There's a western item just out here in the middle of the fucking desert. What the fuck? Oh yeah, this is where I killed a rack. Oh. This is where I got my legendary grenade that set off with its head. Is that what you got? Uh, this is, I got a redundant ASMD. I need to go follow up. The sniper rifle. It's not better than what I have, so it's getting sold. Anyways, here's the ch here's the store. <laughs> what's, what's the off with its head do? X off their heads. Thank you. What the 
fuck? It costs two hundred thousand dollars to fire this weapon. Twelve seconds. Where did I get this? Everyone has their price. Dude, I straight up have no idea where the fuck this gun no came from. <laughs> it's a legendary. It was birthed Nobody and placed into your hands, Lucas. That is where it came so from. Is that where it came from? That is where it came from. It feels the good to sell that. It put money into pocket. Money that stayed there in pocket. I got a lot of money right now. Not money. I got a lot. Oh, much money. That's kind of shit. Its capacity is 1400, almost 1500. Its recharge delay is pretty good, its recharge rate is pretty good, it has a 60% chance to drop a booster that restores 60% of your shields, nice. a grenade, and heavy ammo, but nice. its capacity is not good. What the hell is this? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Baby, I'm sorry. It's all about that ass, about that ass, no titties. What the hell's going on over here? Princess Tarantella team. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> I before he jumped off my screen, I thought he just leaped off the map or some shit. Oh, oh, fuck, we gonna die, Harris. Fuck you! Back up. Oh, our guns do more damage to her than I got a legendary fucking rocket launcher. You get all this cool shit. I get a bunch of shitty ass grabs. It's I told you, dude. It's because I have the uh, I have that thing that gives me a higher chance of getting legendaries because I've beaten this game two other times. Buns. You want the legendary rocket launcher, Harrison? Nah. That's the move on. What the? the? Car. You are fucking with the wrong man's brother. Fucking with the wrong one. Wrong one. It's a. Uh... What's the other stuff? The claptrap unit or the other things. <laughs> yes. Is this one? This might be something. Here's I said this might be something. Something. I see. I do like the sound of something. Something. <laughs> uh, monkey. What's the point of being here, Harrison? I don't know. This place is empty. That this looks like where like a ton of people would be at. Some missions. I really hope we don't have probably. to come here in the future. The great Hello, enemies. They're like, you're not supposed to be here yet. I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we do come here later on. I'm going to... Well, look at there. He left something up here. Oh, there's a Typhon log down there. Harrison, you want to wanna shoot stuff? Come on, get in. The fuck is this uh, until dawn the uh, fucking VR game? Oh, there's uh, targets you gotta shoot. I, I didn't. I didn't get on the roller coaster. You didn't press X. I did. Motherfucker. But I just had to sit down. 
press X and you can actually ride the roller coaster. Gotta press little Nas X. Then get some reset. Come and get your love. What? It's fair. How many lights are our green on the whole thing? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it. The ship was kaput. I think to myself, if I'm gonna die in this desert, then I might as well pull some space fuel on the wall. Oh, I did. Get out of this. Harrison saved me. There is no saving what he's already lost. Go. Come back up to where the little roller coaster thing was. Shit, I got weapons I won't use. Doing that thing gives you, uh, you got four targets you can shoot. If you hit all four, then it opens this door and you get this red chest. Oh! You level 40 yet? No. Uh, not yet. Very small smidgen. I... Smidgen yeah, of ass. Very fucking close, but... Yeah, monkey, you already tossed that shit. He's like, man, where the fuck the enemy's at? There's that. So we have a legendary hunt and a dead clap trap left, Harrison. You get a typhoon log, do we find that shit? Or a typhoon yeah. dead drop? Well, we haven't found it, but... Oh, I see I... it. He got some on the map. <sighs> too far away. Yeah, I marked it. Let's go get some That's why I was like, we only these two things. Yeah. <laughs> Happy hairs. No, not happy. Yes. Clap along with me if you feel a little tiny dick in your ass. <laughs> I did <laughs> mess with this chick on Tinder. She said, I have a truck because I, or, I have a truck that represents how small I am, what's yours mean? I said, I have a tiny car and an even smaller penis. <laughs> she, uh, unmatched with me? Ready to go. <laughs> As you can imagine. Oh shit, I'm level what 40. The hell? What the hell I got something. Black. That's weird. Something got me down this time. That was unpleasant, but thank you anyway. Did your monkey throw a barrel at you while there was an enemy right next to you? Probably could have done that. Looks at a legendary item. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Okay, I'm gonna see what this rocket launcher does. Let's see what this shotgun does. That's a co fucking weapon. I like co, I like co weapons, man, but just the ammo on them is too big to Fuck. Like a beehive? Holy shit! What's the hell? This is my rocket launcher. Oh, I see that. Like someone had to take out. That's pretty cool. <laughs> what the hell? That's pretty... Oh, hello, Skag. What's up, motherfucker? What's a shotgun do? Hey. Oh, fuck. Well, he's dead. Oh, hey, motherfucker! Don't you go in that way? This drop did not suck its higher ass. That's good at least. What? Teleport? Hey brother, there ain't nothing wrong with sucking little ass, you hear me? Yeah, it's just, there is something wrong with it whenever it's a thing that's supposed to give you good loot. <laughs> Got 
got better loot from a fucking rack. What the hell is this? What the hell is this more dragon language? It does nothing. Yeah. It is. Better come back later. So look at this shotgun. It's just like a typical double barrel, but has a smoky end. A smoky end. Speed loading Hellwalker. Doug Walker. So, my demons. Time has come. That's what the red says. I don't get it. What are you doing? Why didn't you just fast travel to the car? My bad. I forgot we had one. No, God sometimes I'm just like forgetful, you know, I'm just not thinking very straight. Yeah, fast travel to the car real quick. Well, got a legendary hunt. Dead clap trick. We've got to hunt something? Yeah. I'm just going to fuck the fucker. What pistol? The COB one? Nah, no, not that one. Track. I've just been holding on this legendary pistol for like, the longest time. Are you probably gonna use the monster to sell it? Or you could put it in a stash. I would say for you when you play this game with other characters, but I don't imagine you playing this game again. <laughs> I could play it again. Would you play it on your own, or would you be playing it with David? I could play with him, but yeah, I could play it on my own. Harrison, I think I found the legendary hunt. I need you to come here. Luke, I don't want you to make me come, brother. It's fine. This hunt will make you come. <laughs> I see. I see. I hope this is the legendary hunt. Why is this rack known as the Phoenix? Yep. Fill it, Vault Hunter, and find out. Fuck, I don't think my fire weapons are gonna do much against this thing, Harrison. Don't worry, we're gonna fuck him up. Oh, shit! It'd be nice if it stopped fucking moving. That would be nice. Alright, I'm going to shoot that bitch. Alright, Rock. Come on, I'm gonna give you hives. Give you hives. Rocket launcher. It's attacking our car. Well, damn. Is he dead? No, it comes back to life. That's why it's called the Phoenix. Terrible. Ow. Oh, shit. That hurt a lot. The reborn Phoenix is strong. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck. You it, monkey. I believe in you. Gotta reload. What the hell? Get him grenade. That's actually awesome. Let's get a water gun. Fucking gun under the over heat. <laughs> My aiming was on point there. Fuck you. Hurt. Don't dream. Oh, he's gonna resurrect again. Fuck. Read the re re reborn back Phoenix. Up. Again. It's actually weird you, having a boss that hurts. That is weird. I don't like it. Where did shit go? All over here. I'm so glad. It was. <laughs> literally gave me fucking four green things. Gave me rats, motherfucker. So glad. Well, we did all the, the challenges, Harrison. Nice, nice. This is weird. I thought we were. I thought we'd usually be like higher ranked in the show we go up against. This is weird. 
I think we'll be higher ranked than the enemies, like the regular enemies we're about to fight, but not bosses. And that cost me two grand in ammo for how much I just fucking used. She is the enemy. Will always be the enemy. Chris, you want uh, my shotgun that's really good? One of them. I'll take a gander at it. Yeah, that's way better than the one I have. <laughs> oh shit, I should probably level up. Um... Come and get your gloves. Get your anus. No, but there was there was a way. <laughs> there was a way. All right here, so we gotta get car now. All right, motherfucker, let's Hurry get going. Yeah, these enemies are more like what we're used to here. Oh, yeah. Three, four ish levels lower than us. I look here, you little fucking thing. Oh, Big, mighty claws! I like Santa Claus. Ow! Grandma got ran over by an asshole. <laughs> that song makes more sense for that movie. Santa's kind of an ass. Ow! I, I mean, I've never watched that movie. I remember it was on Cartoon Network like all the time. I've never seen Grandma got run over by a I'm not. I, I wouldn't sit through it. I wouldn't sit through it. It's me. Like, if you're a kid, it's probably awesome. Yeah. Essentially, how I feel about it. I haven't seen it in a while. I'm like, man, what the fuck is, what the fuck is this shit? Where scary godmother at? I just know that the grandma in that show kind of actually looks like my real grandma, so I always got upset. How many of your uh, oh, relatives look like uh, cartoon characters? Well, given how that grandma looks like Peggy Hill and my grandma looks like Peggy Hill. Let's see, so my grandfather looks- uh, my, my family looks a lot like the people from King of the Hill. My grandfather on my mom's side looks like Hank. And grandmother on my mom's side looks like Peggy. My grandfather on my dad's side, my grandpa, kind of looks like Cotton if his shins hadn't gotten blown out. <laughs> Do they sound David like looks him? like Bobby. No, he doesn't. Dude, David could do some mad Bobby cosplay, man. He just like shaved his head for a Halloween or something. David has had hair like that. Gotta get the whole fit, too, man. The blue shirt and those, uh, like cargo anyways. He should do it. He's gotta recreate that picture whenever he gives that sad looking, uh, rock horns. <laughs> They called me the bulldozer. I'm a fucking legend. I'm not running. Amara just said. <laughs> huh. Hello. And I pump hill stroke that dude. Anyway. He just explode. Oh shit. A tank sentry! What happened to sentry? <laughs> Another shall be revealed! Chuck is the boot! Smack it. Smack that all on my ass. Oh. 
Okay. Was it you that told me you didn't realize that the rap part in that was Eminem until a lot later? Until like, like a lot later. Yeah, I was going through my Eminem phase because remember, like, yeah, back in the day, I used to play the video all the time. But it wasn't until I watched like the music video when I was going through that phase. I was like, what the fuck? I'm always confused by that. Eminem, for him being a white rapper, has a pretty distinct voice. Is there a card that you guys What the fuck? You ain't taking my gold! Come the big D. Shit, I dropped something legendary. Damn, big yeah, John, no. shit! This is who Ellie uh, was imagining writing. Huh. Huh. It's awesome. It's the legendary. Just oh. uh, yes, double penetrating, double penetrating echo. What is Torg, torg pistol. Got a torg pistol as well. Let's see, this is. Two. Oh. Do you see the vehicle it's one down here? Yeah, that's what we're. It's our mission. Oh, uh, okay. I was about to say, what the fuck? Oh, here's now. Here's a problem. Can I get it? Let's go on here. Now let me get it down before you can drive that shag and wagon to uh, the, the keys were underneath the map. Oh god. That's what the problem was. But I got it. Also the pistol it gave me or I kind got is kind of ass. Oh. Bring you the call I'm going in and drive it to the festival gate. Enjoy the murder Hold on, there's a box up here. It's probably got shitty weapons in it. Yeah, super shitty weapons. See a blue, which usually means <laughs> it's worth more money. So give rescue. me a second. I can hear saw blades beginning to spin up. I wonder what RPM would be needed to turn human blood into an aerosol on impact. I will keep you updated. <sighs> Okay, this is gold. Fair enough, Tannis. Yeah. That's how it's gonna uh, win us a passageway to that area. <laughs> Carnivora. God damn. Fuck. <laughs> That's yeah. aggressive. For the Calypso! Stop shooting me! God that damn, this thing does like no damage. Fuck you. What the hell? Ow! Get off. This doesn't look good. I am the face, and you're the mule! <laughs> Screw you, mule! That guy was certainly doing it. I didn't know they could hop onto the cars. That sucked. He's just kind of smacking shit. And it, if we would have left him on, he would have gotten chopped to bits by this little thing up here anyway, so it's fine. Get lost! Get the lost, motherfucker. Gimme, gimme, gimme a man after midnight. Bump somebody in. Gimme, 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 gimme. You are chosen. Prepare for your glory in Carnivora. Hey, the gold car worked. Anyway, I gotta get back to protecting Roland's rest. But go save Tannis. Leave no bro behind, bro. Have we left the bro behind before? Um... Roland? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but was he still alive when we left him? No, but we didn't really try and check. <laughs> like, oh, he's dead. Kinda just assumed he was dead and then left.
I'm just saying, Roland had gotten many bullets through his chest. I don't think he should have died that easily. What's the point of having a shield if one bullet goes through it? Huh. Know what I mean, Harrison? I think I do. What time is it? Holy shit, Harrison, I gotta get off. But it was just about to get good. Vault Hunter, Carnivore I mean, just started broadcasting across the you should be net. able to finish the like two areas to next time we play this, because this area and, and the one after it are both Jumbo. very short. I see. I'm just gonna sell that Torg pistol, I don't need it. Let's sell stuff. You got anything you wanna say? Where this ends that doesn't involve outward? Are you gotta do me like that? Fuck y'all, y'all know me like that. Well, all I gotta say is... Thank you for watching. Now check us out on... Check